guess who got to skip work because, well, why not, and now has a few more hours to play video games and work on his backlog. This guy. Oh, and maybe work on these videos too. Welcome to episode 7 of Location, 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 the series where we discuss the stage possibilities of various video game characters if they were added to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. If you want to know the rules of this series, be sure to check out previous episodes in the playlist on my channel. And without further ado, let's get to the characters. So pretty much every console in the Nintendo family has a representative in Smash. Hell, even the Game & Watch series of handhelds have, well, Mr. Game & Watch. And the Wii U offered... Inkling. Say what you want about the Wii U, one thing it did not do was introduce many new big Nintendo franchises. The only one that comes to mind is Splatoon, which we already got added in Ultimate because it was an actual success. And the Wonderful 101. The Wonderful 101 coming from the same studios that Bayonetta comes from, so it's not outside the realm of possibilities for it to be brought up. While the game didn't make big splashes on the Wii U, with it now being released on the Switch as well as the PS4 and PC, maybe now is finally the time for the game to shine out. Oh. The stage would definitely be the main setting of the game, that being Blossom City. A floating platform stage, no doubt, with the multiple heroes battling evildoers in the background performing their various Unite moves. Perhaps even these combination moves could affect the battle in some way? Right now, all we have is Inkling for a Wii rep, and I feel like we need at least one more. And honestly, the 104 101 is all we have to offer. I'm glad I held off on putting Crash into one of these videos until now. If I did it any sooner, I'd just be talking about the Insane Trilogy and nothing more. But now that we have confirmation of Crash 4 coming this year, I honestly think that improves his chances. Anyway, with Crash 4 coming out, it is very likely a stage based off one of the new areas in that game seems like a no-brainer. But from the one trailer we have, there isn't much to work with, we can just name any location in the trailer and be like, that's the stage. So for this video, we'll be sticking to the Insane Trilogy for inspiration. And is there any better selection than the beginning level of the Insanity Beach? The first thing you wake up to when you first boot up the first Crash game. And we really don't have a beach stage yet in Smash, so it works out well in that regard. Except for maybe that one part of the stage on Woohoo Island. Having enemies come from behind and hazards like explosive boxes wash ashore up front, having obstacles coming at you on all sides like that would capture the spirit of the franchise pretty well. And here comes the JRPG of the episode that I know very little about. Chrono Trigger is the one-hit wonder from the SNES that much like Geno in the last episode, is long gone but not forgotten by its diehard fans. Weirdly enough, also both are owned by Square Enix. After a quick Google and Wikipedia search, the answer to this stage question was rather simple, and thank goodness for that because I would have felt lazy having another open-ended stage idea like I did with Lloyd. In the game, they acquire a time-traveling ship called the Wings of Time, nicknamed Epoch, which they do even battles on in the game. So barring the same idea of Lilac Cruise already in Smash Bros., the stage would be set upon a bigger version of the Wings of Time as it traveled through locations and times within Chrono Trigger with Chrono's various parting members making appearances on the ship. I only recently got into the Resident Evil games, starting with the Resident Evil 2 remake, and now I just want more. And sure, Chris or Leon would seem like an obvious go-to for a Resident Evil rep, but just like with Min Min, sometimes for the best rep you need to think a little outside of the zombie-covered box. Though honestly, with just about any of the characters you could choose, there's no way that the stage isn't somehow based on Raccoon City. I know the more recent games have tried to get away from that, but when a majority of your games take place there, people are just going to correlate the two. A stage based on Raccoon City would be interesting though, as it would really test the limits of what Smash could get away with with its current age rating. Zombies attacking you I'm sure would be a no-no, but zombies banging on a fence like they are during various locations in both Resident Evil 2 and Resident Evil 3? Would even the presence of zombies raise the age rating? Hard to tell. If not, just the apocalyptic streets of Raccoon City would suffice. Or maybe the ESRB rating would really crack down on them and force them to do something like the Midgar stage, where it's just a floating platform far away from the city so you can't see anything. So, fun fact, I originally didn't have Hollow Knight on my list. Heihachi was supposed to be here, but then the Min Min presentation happened and seemingly deconfirmed Heihachi as a character. So I quickly went and took him off the list and scoured for a replacement. And I came across Hollow Knight because so many people are asking for him to be a deluxe me costume along the lines of Sans and Cuphead. But what if he dodged that bullet and became his own fighter? I say let's reuse the idea of maybe one of the least liked stages in Smash. 
a spiritual successor to the Great Cave Offensive. A sprawling gigantic stage with many rooms and levels all with something in them, just like the maze-like levels of Hollow Knight, called the Hollow Nest. Each room containing something to either help or hurt you like items and bosses from the game. It's probably a stage idea that no one is asking for, but it fits Hollow Knight so well, honestly, to have a stage literally just a smaller version of the game itself with cameos all around. Another 5 down, including a last minute substitute. What did you think? What would you alter or change completely? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more as we are getting near to the end of this series. I promised some big names for the final episode. I'm sure a majority of you can guess them though. See you for the next one.